When for the third or fourth time I reviewed the data about how few black, minority, low-income students were making it to Purdue, I said, let's build our own high school. Someone like Audrey comes through and I just think, this isn't just some university holding the status quo. I keep coming back to her hard work and her high expectations. She is a student that makes others better. Audrey Williamson. The typical high school student, I think, you know, you go to your class, you do your homework, you make some friends along the way. End of story. The high school was kind of like designed for the Industrial Revolution. It was kind of there to help you learn to work long hours, to submit to your teachers, but that's not really as applicable in the world today. In a traditional setting, teachers are imparting knowledge, and they are the holder of knowledge, right? Um, in this setting with our coaches, we're learning alongside each other. Trench is at point five. Initiation is at point seven. All right, so make it point seven. Though. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's take a break. Let's 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 kind of plan today the checklist and prioritize correctly. We have competition on Saturday, so what's kind of left to do? Program. I see some of myself in Audrey. She's a student who always wants to help, so if it's something to help the team, she's right there. Is there anything else left to do that we know of? I mean, I'm sure some things might pop up. Make bumpers? Is that Oh, counts? bumpers. Cool. Let's get started on those things. I really like being valued as part of the team. I like being essential, basically. With me, I kind of go all in to what I'm doing, you know, or I want to not do it at all. Um, and so, not that I'm saying that the robotics team will fail now that I'm not gonna be there next year, but I think definitely through the years I was on the robotics team, I would consider myself a cornerstone of the, the team. I got interested in programming, I wanna say fifth grade. I was playing games at my computer and I thought, you know, I wonder how this works. I wonder how is it possible that this computer is able to do something so complex, you know, and is able to respond to that. Robotics is definitely a team sport. There is no way at all that you can compete in robotics as a one-person show. But I entered it at a very interesting point in my life because I was very much a control freak. I wanted things my way. I wanted them to be perfect. Right before a competition, we decided that our robot was going too slowly. Uh, well, I decided that, <laughs> and so I started taking it apart, and then I had all my teammates like, what are you doing? We have to inspect in 15 minutes. Is there anything I can do to help? I was like, get out of here, get out of here. I just need to focus on this. That was when I was in control freak phase. It was very difficult for me to work with others. Which I think is... Did you check if the connection was good, like the connectors? Oh, you mean actually look at yeah. it? Yeah, might as well while we're there. You know, th these could have been Enabling. Narrower. Uh, just test it slow. All right, cool. I'll mark this off all our list. We got one thing done. Climber works. Good job, Audrey. PBHS's structure to learning is very unique. We basically do all of our core credits online, and then we also have these passion projects, probably at least 20 every cycle, little niche things that you can go into, and it's meant to balance out kind of the hard learning from the soft skills. Our students, they're partaking hands-on in figuring out these big, giant problems that this world is having today. 
little back legs. Oh, there's the queen. Coach Mandel started the robotics team in freshman year, which I joined, along with 20 other freshmen about. And it was all freshmen because we were the only ones in the school. Hey, Mandel. Hey. As the years moved on, I realized that I could not do everything by myself. All right, you can take over now. All right. I was just trying to think about our time management here. We managed to make a robot that was competitive on a worldwide scale, and that was crazy. We would have gone to Worlds last year if COVID hadn't happened. I'm confident okay, of that. We needed wall shots, so that's just what my first thought was. But if we All right, let's do five balls first. Time. Okay. All right, stop. Mm -hmm. Stop that, stop that. What was that? Oh, yeah, I think I definitely still struggle with control a little bit, especially on the programming team. Coach Mandel is incredible. He's a very hard worker and he's very level-headed and it's just so very impressive to me. You came in as somebody who liked to control the situation, but I feel like the way you have developed in terms of communicating with your teammates, with the adult mentors, it's admirable. I, I've seen you grow really into an adult. Fire. So much better. Being able to work with Coach Mandel has taught me how to come at a problem over and over again and not get frustrated how to understand that failure or something not working is not an end all, it's just a little stepping stone and something that you can check off like, okay, this didn't work, what next? I'm gonna remember this whole class in a very special way. You guys know how that goes, right? So uh, let's have fun today, it's gonna be a long day. Really, really appreciate the senior class, especially. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Super duper. There we go. All right, we got it. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to. Purdue University, specifically the Polytechnic Institute, and I'm majoring in robotics engineering technology. I know they've got like a robotics lab, and I think they work with machine learning there. So I'll definitely be diving headfirst right into those. The first section of the lab is our workshop. Nice. Thank you. Robotics is definitely growing now. I mean, very amazed with some of the stuff we're capable of doing. Like some robots are cute little fluffy animals that help nursing home patients battle anxiety and loneliness. There's also this robot that they've designed that was able to do like grafted skin from a different grape onto a grape just to see the precision. It's just incredible what we've been able to do. There's plastic ones, but we have carbon fiber and metal here right now. That's so cool. I feel like I'm gonna spend a lot of time here. Oh my gosh, I'd have, I have some teachers who died to see this lab, like, oh my gosh. It's so good here. I'm more optimistic on what robots can help us do that we weren't previously able to do. Being part of the first class has meant that i am kind of been a guinea pig for the high school. There may be 150 seniors, but none of us have had the exact same high school experience. Look, we're gonna try a lot of things, a lot of different things. And when you do that, they won't all work. But this particular project, this one has to work. This is a, a day we've been pointing to for a very long time. Yeah. I'm gonna try not to be emotional today. I've been, I've been looking ahead to this day yeah. for six years, you know. Awesome. One day, and here's it's awesome. And so far at least, that graduation ceremony demonstrated PPHS is working. Sometimes it's definitely hard to practice patience when you're, you know, trying to do something important to you. But now I've kind of 
realize, like, you know, um, control what you can, and then what you can't control, don't be mad about it. <laughs> I like to think of people as kind of a reflection of everyone they spend time around. If you're open to it, you know, you'll learn new ways of conducting yourself. Audrey Williamson. Thank you. Thank you. Monday. Are you coming our way? Absolutely. I'm excited to have you. Thank you. I'm excited to be there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.